What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got to Veilstone City, and I did say that off screen I was going to go to the caves and, you know, do a little exploring, and I kind of figured that, you know what, we never actually got in depth with the with the caves. We only did, like, the tutorial part. So, in this episode, you are going to be seeing me battle, try and capture, locate some stuff. You know, the whole nine yards. This is all about the underground caves and whatnot. So let's go right ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to be going into the internet because I found out that if you go on the internet, things get a, get, get done a little bit quicker. So we're going to be going. Yes, we're going to be saving the game. And bam, the progress has been saved. And uh, well, away we go. Look at that. Okay, all righty, all righty. So look at that. We haven't been to, uh, we haven't been anywhere, guys. We have not been anywhere, so it, I think it's time for us to just like explore the whole shebang right here. As you can see on the map, there are blue dots and there are uh, there are yellow dots right here, basically signifying like the locations and whatnot of different things. And well, let's see, let's go there. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start digging. We're gonna be battling. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, try that out. And as you can see, we already seen a stone right here. There we go. That's one. Let's see. You gotta, you gotta really hate those little black tiles and stuff because, yeah, they they really ruin it for you. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're gonna switch it up right here. Grab that and grab that, and I think we got them all right. No. Okay, we still got one more. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hate those pings right there. Let's see. Maybe right here. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I messed up. So, we got two out of the three, I would like to say. There we go. Okay, so we got a red. And then what do we got right here? We got a fairy stone box. A pretty stone box, I should say. And look at that. We got Togekiss. Alrighty, alrighty. So, we got Togekiss. And as you can see, they found a Diglett. So, something good might happen out of all of this. I do not know exactly what it, is, what it may be. Might be like increased good luck and whatnot. So we got three things right here. And it looks like that we got... Alright, we got... Yeah, we... There we go. And it looks like... Oh, look at that. We found a plate. Look at that. And... There we go. Okay, so... There we go. We found all three items. And uh, what are we looking at right here? We got a fist plate, we got a blue sphere, and a gorgeous stone. And what would this one actually do? Now, I went in shining... Pla oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so we got a shiny Snorlax right here. I, I think that might increase our chances to find a shiny Pokemon. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. All right, so let's go straight to a, a few rooms that we have not been in, like this one right here. As you can see, the spacious cave. And, uh, well, let's see, what, 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 what can we find? We found some uh, pretty interesting Pokemon right there. There's a Machop. Now, remember, guys, these Pokemon grow levels. They uh, they grow levels every single time you progress in the game, so they will get a little stronger after every visit and whatnot. So it's actually a very good place to actually train right here. And, well, these are already Pokemon that I already captured right here. Geodude's right there. I do not want to mess with that, guys. So... We already visited that guy, so let's go right ahead and continue on with our adventure right here. I think the goal is for me to actually locate some more spots right here. So, we're going to go downstairs. We're going to figure out the big unknowns right here. Look at that. And it looks like we're going to find another room. And this room right here is the Rocky Cave. Look at this. Okay. And there's an Onyx. Oh, wow. Trying to catch us. And we found ourselves a nugget. Yeah. In some locations right here, you'll be able to find some items right here. The Pokemon are a little faster than what I, I remember. Good gravy. All right, let's see. I think I've already captured that Pokemon. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, I did. I did switch up a few Pokemon on the team. Why are you? Okay. Okay, there we go. So I did. I did switch out a few Pokemon on my team so I could start leveling them up 
you know, increasing their levels. Now, it doesn't matter if I capture them or battle them or anything like that. It's just the experience points that matters right here for everything. And it looks like, to me, I've never captured Skoropi. Now, there's going to be a little bit of an issue because this is a poison-type Pokemon. And just like that, we defeat Skoropi. But there will be increased uh, experience points right here. As you can see, wow, we got quite a few Pokemon that grew at least level 10. And Starblade right here is learning Double Team, so let's go ahead and take away Growl. So yeah, very, very good place to actually train your Pokemon to actually do a lot of things. Jirachi, level 7, learn Swift, look at that. Mew de Uno, just 9 levels, holy crud, and learn Amnesia. Wurmple, at, you know, it grew to level 11, so we already know that it's going to evolve right here. Whew, that's a lot of evolution right there. Okay, so it is evolving. Now, I don't know what I could say, guys. I haven't been in here very much because I've done at least 15 episodes more more to progress in the game. And this is all part of the game. And look at that. We got ourselves a Silcoon. So keep it in our team one more time and it will evolve again. And look at that. Silcoon, the cocoon Pokemon. It anchors itself by wrapping twigs with the silk from its body. It, motions, it motionlessly awaits evolution. Ha! Huh. And it learned Harden. Look at that. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and swap for Infernomon. That way we can actually have a chance to capture these Pokemon. Now, it looks like the something good will happen ended right here. I think we have to increase it again. So I'm gonna go in and out of the I'm gonna go in and out of the, 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 the cave right here to see if I can actually find some rare Pokemon. Now Let's see, let's see, what kind of, oh, okay, there's a Skoropi that we have yet to capture, so let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, Skoropi. We kind of want you, we kind of want you, like, in our group. Not in our team, but in our group, and look at this. Infernomon is admiring the view right there, so let's go ahead and use a faint attack. And... Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't really do much, and here comes a Venoshock attack, good gravy. Luckily for us, we did not get poisoned. So let's go ahead and use a mock punch. We're gonna do we're gonna do moves that do not work against this guy, and that was not very effective. Holy crud! Okay, so it knocked off our. Okay, no, it doesn't knock off anything. Okay, uh, screw it. It is a bug type Pokemon. We might just have to like eliminate this guy. No, it stayed, and uh, well, here comes a screech attack. So we do have a chance to capture this guy. So. Yes, okay, alrighty, alrighty, so let's see. Alright, waiting directions. Good thing for us, we actually stocked up on a lot of Pokeballs right here, and yeah, we got quite a few net balls, so this should actually work against this guy. And I, I, I would like to say the underground is also a kind of a cave or something like that? I don't know. And just like that, we captured ourselves our newest Pokemon, Skoropi. Now, I remember having this guy in a, in a walkthrough at one point. And look at that, more, more, yeah, <laughs> everybody's growing levels except Starblade right there. And Mew de Uno, look at that, level 11. And Silcoon grows to level 12. And, well, we got an evolution coming right here, again. Yes, this episode is all for the underground, the grand underground, I should say. And... Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, and look at that. Oh, wow, we got ourselves a Beautifly. Now, I don't think that this is Poke... I kind of feel like this Pokemon is a version exclusive. Comment down below, guys. And, well, as you can see, here we have Beautifly, the butterfly Pokemon. It, it has an aggressive nature. It stabs prey with its long, narrow mouth to drain its prey's fluids. Oh, wow. Huh. <laughs> and right here, you actually thought that it was actually peaceful and stuff, but no. And, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and take out Harden since, you know, it's not a, it's not a Shell-type Pokemon anymore or anything like that. And look at that, we got ourselves Absorb, and it's learning Gust, and, well, we're going to switch that out. Did you guys hear that? Alright, and we got ourselves a Gust, okay. And then we got Skoropi right here. As you can see, it grips its prey with its cl uh, tail claws and injects poison. It tenaciously hangs on until it poison takes. Oh, wow. That is a brutal Pokemon right there. And I don't know what that whistle's for. I gotta... <laughs> Again, I really have to do my research before I go into here and play, guys. 
Now, let's go right ahead and find some loot right here. Some booty. Some loot or booty. Alright. We got three things in this in this location. And I think we should go into the brown spots. That way we can actually like, you know, locate these things. Oh look at that. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? Let's go with the big mallet. That is not yeah, that's not oh wow. Okay, so we got something right here. Hopefully we yeah, okay, so we got that. That's two. And that's nothing right there. So, yeah, we're pretty much going to just break this whole thing right here. So, it's really nothing. We got two out of the three. And we got a green sphere and a spooky plate. Now, I think there are duplicates of these plates. Comment down below, guys. It's a lot of stuff. And then, um, let's see. Oh, there's something right here. Ah, there you are. As you can see, there are, there are different uh, players coming into this place. And we got four things go cover right here and good gravy. Really? Come on! Man, I really hate those black those black uh, tiles right there. You know what? Oh, there we go. There we go. And that is another black tile. Oh, look at this. Okay. This is new. Okay, I wonder what this is. Oh, what the heck? That looks like a big old booger or something. <laughs> okay. And me, I'm just destroying everything right now because it really, like, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so let's see what that big old booger is. It's a blue sphere and a light clay. Okay, so that, I think, I don't know. I think it increases ground type moves or something. I don't know. All right, so let us move on right here. There are a lot of places that we need to cover. And... Well, let's see, there's a Diglett right there. And we're going to be going down. Okay, so we got two rooms that we have yet to see. And we're going to be going right here just to make sure. Just to make sure to see what's, what's going on right here. So here we have in the Spacious Cave. And it's pretty much the same thing. I do see a Pokemon that I have yet to capture. And, oh, hold on, hold the phones. Hold on just a sec. Okay. Before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and switch out some Pokemon, all right? So Beautifly is already uh, fully evolved right here. I should probably put it back. And my battery is low. Good gravy! All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something right here. Hold on just a sec, guys. I'll be right oh, back. Right. Everything's good to go. Hopefully it doesn't go any charging. Okay, so it needed a little bit of a charge my left side. So here we are back, and well, we gotta we 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 have to start evolving some Pokemon right here just to. You know, up the collection and whatnot, and, uh, well, it looks like to me that, uh, we kind of maybe, maybe, just maybe need to... You know what? Let's go ahead and give old, uh, Toxic Batman a little bit of a, of a run right here, because we did try to evolve it a quite a, a few episodes ago. Now, as you can see, look at that. We have found a Pokemon that we probably want, and, uh, look at that. It is Swablu. We haven't seen you in quite some time, homeboy. All right, Infernomon. Don't make it faint. Seriously, don't make it faint. Okay, so let's go ahead and start using some moves that well, won't be as effective as this Pokemon. Look at that. Oh, yes. Takes a nice chunk. Here comes a round attack. Do not know what that is. Don't know. Is it probably like a whistle attack or something? I don't know. All right, here we go. And uh, Mock Punch does it. Here comes the safeguard from this Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and try and capture this guy right here with this Pokeball. Uh, you know what? Quick Balls will always work with this guy. Okay, so here we go. I think we call this guy Fluff Blade or something. I don't know. Yeah. Two. Three. Yeah, buddy. Stay in the Pokeball. So far, it's been easy. Now, I don't want to count my chickens just yet. There's no need in counting chickens. And wow, look at these Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. Holy crud. Jirachi... Mew de Uno. Everybody's growing levels. That's, that's, that's cool. That's always fun. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. So, look at that. We, 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 we are actually doing something right here. And that is, we actually evolved our Pokemon Starblade right here. And just like that, Starblade is a Staravia. Oh, yes. 
Okay, alrighty. So here we have Staravia, and uh, it is a starling Pokemon. They fly around forests and fields in search of bug Pokemon, moving together in huge flocks. Okay, and look at this. We got Swablu. And I think we've already captured this guy. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I may have traded a... Yeah, I think I may have traded a Pokemon just like it. So uh, we're going to have to re-nickname this Pokemon later on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Completely forgot about it. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Where Oh, where do we go now? Let's see. Okay, so there is a Chingling right there that I kind of want. Again, we're, we're just trying to capture some Pokemon, trying to fill that Pokedex up, and... No, I don't want a beaver all you a-hole, butthole... Oh, God. So, here we have beaver all. Uh, Pokemon that, yes, nobody nobody actually wants or cares about or something like that, but... Still, it can actually do a lot more than most Pokemon, so we're gonna just destroy it right here with a Mach Punch. Here we go, Mach Punch. And this beaver all right here is, uh, is quite... It's tough! Oh, crud! Okay, it's about to make me yawn. You guys ever notice that if you yawn, you yawn like if you yawn somebody, they yawn themselves? I wonder why that's the case. But look at that, we have defeated Bibro. And we're growing levels like crazy. Look at this. Okay, alrighty. Alright, we're gonna have a tough team in no time. Talk to Batman is close to maybe hopefully just evolving. And you know what? Now that we're doing this, hold on. It is a Pokemon that we need to. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can't really walk with it, but... Hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Uh, held item. Let's go ahead and give it an item right here. There is something that we can use to actually get this guy to evolve, and I'm trying to look for it. Um... Huh. So it looks like we don't have it. Not just yet. Okay. Never mind! Okay. I was imagining things, and... God dang ghost Pokemon. Alrighty. So here we have a uh, Chingling. Kind of looks like a Christmas uh, bell. Which, by the way, Merry Christmas, guys, and a Happy New Year. Because I'm currently recording all this uh, <laughs> around that time. And you know what? Let's go ahead and be ballsy about this by throwing a Dusk Ball. This is a, du a, a Dark, or not a Dark type Pokemon, but a Ghost type Pokemon. And uh, nope, it won't take my crap like that. And. This is a Pokemon that likes to recover, so let's go right ahead and use a Flame Wheel attack. Hopefully this won't make him vain. And, well, it's it. Wow, okay, so yes. It seems like to me that we're going to have a little bit of difficulty against this guy because it will recover every single time you try. So, let's try this again. And there we go, last resort. I do not like the sound of that, that move. I really don't. And there we go. One, two, three. Throwing out that peace sign. All right, that is another Pokemon in the bag. Okay, all righty. And yes, look at that. It's my Pokemon, Mew de Uno. It's going to be the strongest Pokemon in no time. And look at this. Chingling, the bell Pokemon. It emits cries, or it emits cries by agitating, or yeah, agitating an orb at the back of its throat. It moves with Flouncing hops. Oh, I guess that's flouncing hops, I guess. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put this guy back. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. And while I was off screen, you know, trying to charge my, my controller, huh, it would seem that quite a few diglets were, were, were covered by the people around here. Alrighty, so let's go to the big, big area right there. There is somebody there that's probably waiting for us. I don't know. Okay, so let's go right here. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's go grab this. Yes, let's go ahead and grab this. And we have two things that needs to be pinged. And this looks... Huh. Yeah. This, I've never had a... Yeah, you know what? I'm probably not going to find anything except for that, probably. And... Huh. Yeah, the whole freaking, yeah, the whole freaking thing, it was all in stone and whatnot, and, uh, okay, so that was probably the worst possible place, and then here we have 37 more, and, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and go upstairs, and there is somebody right here, I don't know why he's waiting, and here we have the Big Bluff Cavern, which you will find some pretty rare Pokemon yourself right here, I 
don't necessarily think so. Well, oh snap, there is a Scyther. I'm going to capture it. Oh my god. Okay, so here we have Scyther. I know that this is a virgin version exclusive just because in a, a few minutes ago I captured a, a pincer in the other version. So we're going to take our time with this guy right here. Let's go right ahead and uh, mock punch it. Try to get it to uh, be with us. And oh wow. It, it, oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, hopefully this guy won't make him faint. And here we go. Okay, so that's that's good enough right there. Completely forgot that this Pokemon is a flying type too. And that attack. The attack, man. And yeah, we're gonna try the attack, man. And yeah, we're gonna try and put this guy in red. And this guy's slash attack is just gonna Now I've always wanted a sight there. I've always wanted to play with one. But it, it, it's just like, you know, in Pokemon Red Blue, it just it, it, it never came to fruition. Because they always make it like so hard to capture and whatnot. I think you can actually hold on just a sec. I think you can actually um, what was it? You can actually capture it, or you can actually buy it too. Now this is going to be a difficult one. Let's go ahead and use a quick ball. I probably should have used this first before anything. Come on! Damn it! Okay, so this Pokemon. Okay, here comes a slash attack, and. Okay. Do we have any kind of attack? Okay, so lower level than us. Alright, this might be more appropriate. One, two, three, throwing out that. Oh no! Two, three, throwing out that. Oh no! It is. Oh no. And here comes its double team. Okay, alrighty. Well, good thing it's not increasing its attack, it's you know, increasing the evasiveness and stuff, so. Let's see. You know what? Uh, throw another nest ball. Come on. Come on, Scyther. You know you want to be in my team. One, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Throwing out that peace sign. Throwing out that mother grabbing peace sign. Look at that. Okay. That is quite a few experience points right there. Look at that, Jirachi. Gross little 13. Mew de Uno. Look at that. Okay. And, uh, well, would you like to give... Wait. Seriously? Okay, so let's just give it a nickname. I don't think it has a Pokedex entry, probably. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and call this guy Ninjor, after the Power Rangers uh, character. Mainly because this guy is kind of like a ninja. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at its summary right here. So it would, it would seem that this Pokemon does not have a Pokedex entry just yet. So as you can see, it's a bug and flying type Pokemon. And its attack is down, but its defense is up the way. It's it's a pretty good Pokemon. Now, it is a Technician. The ability Technician powers up Pokemon's weaker moves. And it does have some good moves right here, like Quick Guard, Double Team, Double Hit, and Slash. Okay. Don't tempt me, Nintendo. I might use that Pokemon for my team. I might. I don't know. Okay, so now before we go anywhere, I kind of need to revive a Pokemon right here. Do, oh, yes, I do have a revive. Okay, so... That's always handy. Use a Moo Moo Milk. Can't ever go wrong with, uh, what was it called? Uh, you can't ever go wrong with, uh, with, uh, with some calcium right here. Okay, so what do you caught this sucker right here? And, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, oh, look at that. You see the juke game. Oh, there's a Pokeball right there. And I, oh, crud. Wow, they make it so difficult for you to try and capture these guys or get that Pokeball. So, Go right here and get that Pokeball right there, and then get the heck out. So we caught a rare Pokemon. What is this? That looks like a Bastiodon, or, or, or I don't remember what the name of the Pokemon was, but you know what I mean. It's a fossil. Huh. Huh, I wonder if you can actually find a fossil right here. Look at it. Huh. I wonder. Huh. I really do wonder, and... Huh. I wonder, I really do wonder if you can actually find a, a, a fossil right here. Maybe that's what the, maybe that's what that blue or that, not that blue, but that, that red circle counts as. Yeah, not going to try and capture you. Okay, so never mind. Um, let's move on ahead. Pretty sure many of you guys are like looking at the screen and be like, what the hell, Draven? Come on. You should already know this. 
Should know everything. Not really. Don't know a lot of stuff, guys. This is why I got you. Subscribe to me. So you guys can tell me exactly what, what, what goes on. And something good is going to happen. I don't know why that homeboy is still there. And we got some items right here that we can actually grab. So let's go right ahead. And three have been pinged. Okay. There we go. That's one item. That's always nice. Okay, let's let's go right here. Ah, look at that. Okay, so we found something right here. That's two. Let's see. Yeah. This, oh wow, there was something right there. Good gravy. Okay. <sighs> you gotta love the you gotta love the mystery of this. This is like Battleship. Seriously, it really is. Okay, let's see. Battleships, you sunk my ship. Alright, so let's see what we got. I wonder if we can actually find some fossils at some point. Man, we are like hitting these black dots like nobody's business. Oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Oh, so that's what it was. Okay, there we go. And... That's one. There is another one right there, but it looks like to me I won't be able to get it in time. So there it is. And the wall has collapsed. Now this is a gorgeous stone box. And what exactly will we find in this thing right here? And we found ourselves a Wormadan statue that is shiny. Okay. So I'm only assuming this is just off of a, you know, a quick assumption, guys, that you will be able to find shiny Pokemon with those statues if you align them. Now, let's go right here. What is she doing? I'm going to find you. <laughs> I'm going to follow you. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on right here. Let's go right ahead and do one more thing right here. Um, okay, so we looked at two locations. Now, let's, let's go ahead and uh, go to the further regions right here. Now, I'm going to only uh, take a little bit more more of you guys time watching this and then we're gonna go into the next episode seeing what what happens next um let's see yeah we've actually found some pretty good uh some pretty good pokemon uh let's see when they say rare pokemon they mean rare pokemon and well let's go right ahead and let's go straight over here and Look at that. Okay, so we found a few more people on the way. There's one up here, and I think that's Tina, the girl that was trying to run away right there. Uh, let's see. That's the entrance of that room, not going over there. And we're going to be going into that middle room up top, so actually not there. Uh, you know what? Either or you can actually go somewhere. And, well, there is something right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. And we we got two of these little suckers hiding in my location, and let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. One. Oh, wait, there it is. I'm I'm only assuming that like I'm only assu assuming that the good thing that will happen is these shiny stones because this is like the most I've ever caught. And what do we have right here? Another one, a gorgeous stone box. And what do we have? And wow, it's a go it's a big ass Garchomp one. Okay, alrighty. So that 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 right there is pretty cool. Let's go into this room right here and see what this is all about. And here we have in the we're in the spacious cave. And well, let's see. Oh, there is a Pokemon that I've yet to capture or have already captured, and it's following me like crazy. Yeah. Let's go downstairs right here. There's a room close by. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and visit three rooms right here. And after that, just, you know, call it a day right here. I know that I've uh, looked at you guys. Or took some of you guys' time by... Oh, damn! Po ah! Never mind. Scary! Scary AF. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, yeah we, we've been playing this game for quite, you know some time and it's been fun and all that crud and too um i'm only thinking that this game right here the only 
if you guys really want my opinion about this game, it, it, it's the, this location right, this, well, this, pretty much this right here. Uh, the Grand Underground is, is the big change in the whole thing. Now, I have yet to finish off my Pokemon Shining Pearl and whatnot. And, oh, look at that. Toxic Batman grew to level 24. Will it evolve? We'll see. I don't know. No, it's not going to evolve. Um, that's the, like, right now, so, like, so far, that's the only big change that I've seen in this, in this whole thing right here. I could, I could be, uh, you know, I could, you know, I, I could be just saying that because, you know, I haven't had much time doing it, playing it. And, well, let's see. Whoa, here we have the Volcanic Cave. And, yes, you're going to be finding some, uh... Some pretty good Pokemon right here, and I've already caught this guy. Oh, man! Oh, there is a hero right there! I am going to capture it. As soon as I get away from this Geodude. But you know what? I'm going to start battling these guys. I'm just going to, you know, grow the levels and whatnot. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's get it. Mock Punch for the win. And, yeah, these Pokemon are a lot tougher than the Pokemon upstairs. And holy crud! This guy's got bulldoze. Okay, so we gotta we gotta beat this guy quickly, or else he's gonna just like beat us. Let's see. Here we go. And mock punch does it. Okay, so say goodbye. Say good freaking bye. Alrighty. Okay. So look at that. Jirachi's growing levels, and talks of Batman. It doesn't look like it's gonna evolve in anytime soon. Hold on. Hold on, we gotta heal our Pokemon because we got a Pokemon uh, right up there that we kind of want. And set, go! Run, mother lover! And bam, we found ourselves good old Hera right here. Hound Doom. Okay, so this is a Pokemon that we've had in Pokemon Platinum, and I kind of want to get him mainly because uh, yeah, it's a pretty good Pokemon right here. Now I'm gonna take a risk and use Mod Punch. Just to weaken it a little bit, and as you can see, it takes half its HP, and here comes a beat-up attack. Not very effective. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and use a faint attack. That way we... Oh, wow, he... It, wow, it has faint attack, too. Okay. There we go. Two can play in that game right there. Okay, so here we go again. One more faint attack. And... There we go. Okay, so this Pokemon is ready to get captured, and it is... Yeah, you guys already know me. I'm going to try and capture it with a, uh, with a Witch Macaw. A Dust Ball right here. Okay, so here we go. Dust Ball, please. Capture Hera. Here we go. One. Deuce. Three. Here we go. Throwing out that peace sign. Yes! Throwing out that peace sign. So it has been successful right now, guys. Just capturing all these guys right here. Holy crud. Alrighty, and, and yeah, my Pokemon are growing levels like crazy too. Okay, so Starblade's uh, learning endeavor. Let's go ahead and take away Tackle with Texas. It really doesn't need it. And Endeavor is pretty good. Jirachi grows a level 15. Mew de Uno, look at that, level 18. And here we have Houndoom. And well, let's go ahead and call it by its pl Pokemon Platinum nickname. Say hello again to Hera, the Houndoom. Yes, and we're going to send it to the box, mainly because, well, we already got a Fire-type Pokemon here. Anywho, um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, damn, we, we've covered a lot. We really have covered a lot of uh, a lot of things right here, guys, and I think, you know, I think this is going to be it for, you know, for this episode right here, too. So, let's go right ahead and take a, let's go ahead and find, oh, wow, oh, 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 my God. No fucking way. We found a fossil, guys. We have found a friggin' fossil. I think it's a fossil. I don't know. Let's see. There we go. We found two things. And... I think we found a fossil, guys. Alright, please let it be a good fossil. Here we go. A skull fossil? So, what? Okay, what Pokemon gets through the Skull Fossil? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get the heck up here. Okay, let's go up. Yes. So, would you look at that, guys? We finally got a fossil. A much needed fossil. 
I kind I'm I'm curious. I'm very very curious to see what kind of Pokemon it is. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go right ahead. It's right here on the Okay, Skull Fossil. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off screen and go all the way back to Orberg just to revive this fossil. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So after a nice, long freaking ride to Orberg. Long. Very long. That's exactly what she said. Um, yeah, we are finally here. And we're going to go see exactly what this uh, fossil is all about. I sure already know because... I already know because, you know, I played Pokemon a long time. And, well, let's see. Yes, I do have a fossil. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Go outside. And, yes, we're going to go find out what kind of Pokemon this could be. So, it's the same thing just like in the, the original versions. In and out, you know, grabbing this fossil. And, well, hello, hello. I said the Pokemon fossil right now. We're going. You're going to take too long. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your Cranidos. You be good to it, okay? And so, here it is, guys. We got ourselves a new Pokemon, Cranidos. And it is allowed into the Pokédex right here. As you can see, Kratos, the headbutt Pokémon. It lived in jungles around 100 million years ago. Its skull is as hard as iron. Hmm. Hmm. That is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Um, Kratos is a, a very interesting Pokémon because, uh, you know, I, I, I do believe it's one of the fo like one of the fossil Pokémons that was introduced into this, uh, into this generation right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the summer right here. So here we have Cranidos, and it is a rock type Pokemon. And well, as you can see, it does have an impinged nature. I, I, I seem to be cursed with that freaking nature. Uh, it has Mold Breaker. Moves can be used. The tar can be used on the target regardless of its abilities. Okay. And it does have two starting moves right here. Okay. So now maybe I should use it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But that is pretty much it right there for this episode right here, guys. Um, in the next one, we're going to be taking a small tour of Veilstone City, and then we'll see what happens from there. But it's been a very good episode, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to every single one of you guys. See you guys.